Hello and welcome into the next verse. My name is George, and if this is your first time here or you've been here before but haven't subscribed yet, please do so along with turning on the notification bell so you actually get alerted when I drop videos like this one, along with your thumbs ups. Very much appreciate that. And your comments, very important, the comments for me specifically. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about what happened, what just happened. The draft just ended, the first round just ended, 2022 draft just ended and the Knicks did not actually end up with a player. That's right. We went into this with the 11th pick lottery pick and somehow managed to get worse. That's right. That is actually what happened today. Now, this may be part of some master plan, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Not at all. Because if this plan is to somehow make, make open up space for Brunson, give me a break. Or if it's to open up space for Kyrie, just I'm, I'm leaving the front. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be a Knicks fan anymore. I'm not. If 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 this is to sign Kyrie, forget about it. You don't understand Knicks fans then, Leon, and whoever else is responsible for this catastrophe that happened today. Just to recap this, so basically here, this is what the Knicks did. Uh, the Knicks traded the 11th pick, which was Osamain Dieng, and they got back a 2023 protected first rounder via Detroit, a 2023 protected first rounder via Washington, and a 2023 protected first rounder via Denver. Now, the, the Detroit pick is protected one through 18 through 2024. It's protected one through 13 through 2025 and one through 11 in 2026 and one through nine in 2027. So that's how that, I mean, all right. The Washington pick is protected one through 14 in 2023. And then it rolls over if, if it doesn't convey. It's protected 1 through 12 for 2024, 1 through 10, 2025, and 1 through 8 in 2026. This is all according to Jake Fisher, who tweeted this out. The Denver first-round pick is protected 1 through 14 through 2025. So these are all protected. The best they can get is be a top 8. The best they could get is be a ninth pick in 2026. That's the Washington pick. Now, what else happened was... Let's see here. Okay, Tim Botemps tweeted this out. So the Knicks, New York Knicks traded the 11th pick to OKC, in essence. OKC trades three firsts to the Knicks. Knicks then trade the 23 Denver pick four and four seconds to Charlotte to get the 13th pick back. Then they trade the 13th pick and Kemba Walker to Detroit. Okay. Uh, and then <laughs> the Knicks trade the 11th pick, which is Osmain, Kemba, four, or they trade the 11th pick, Kemba, four seconds, and gets three future firsts in return. Okay. I get it. Trying to stockpile firsts again for the big star trade. I. I, 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 to me, this is kicking the can down a road one too many times. This is exactly what I did not want to see. I am pissed. I am pissed, pissed, pissed. Basically, so basically, the Knicks used a first round pick, a lottery pick. To get out from a bad contract, a bad signing, which was Kemba Walker, to now pursue another bad signing and by overpaying for Brunson? Is that the strategy we're talking about here? We, This team is headed towards total mediocrity. I mean, get ready for another 37-win season, basically. I don't see the vision. If the vision is just land a star through a trade of some sort, 
Well, I mean, just look at the look look at the landscape. Did that work out for Philadelphia? Did it? No. Did it work out for the Nets? No. You build through the draft, and then when your young core or somebody pops in on that team on um, through the draft, somebody pops. I mean, RJ, you know, is percolating. He hasn't popped enough. His his efficiency is trash right now. Just just be real here. We don't have any elite talents that a free agent or not a free agent, but or a big star would want to come and join us. We're not there. The idea is to accumulate enough young pieces that eventually one of them is going to turn into something. Instead, we keep kicking the can down the road. This is exactly, oh man, I am, I'm infuriated. And then there were the rumblings, oh, Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. We ended up getting Duran and sending him to Detroit. And we still didn't get Ivy. What did they want? Whatever they wanted, we should have given Unless it was just, I mean, unless it was just completely exorbitant, but we'll never know because we never hear anything. We never hear shit from this front office. We're not going to get any explanations about what the plan is and why they did this. Every team got better except for the Knicks tonight. How do you like that? Doesn't feel good to be a Knicks fan right now, does it? I, I, I'm appalled. I am totally appalled <sighs> all that time analyzing talent trying to figure out which pieces fit ridiculous ridiculous <sighs> and then if this is all for thibs to build a squad for thibs to coach i i mean i It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Because for one, we still have Julius Randle on this team. And we don't have a, you know, we don't have a reliable lead player, reliable leader. I love RJ, but he still needs time. Maybe he'll pop next season. I'm hoping he does. I'm hoping he gets to that, you know, fringe all-star level. But there's no guarantees. And especially when you surround them with a bunch of like noise, how's he going to thrive? It's it, it, Why couldn't, why, Leon, why couldn't you have gotten rid of Randall tonight? That would have been, I mean, that would have been, that could have made up for all the sins. All of the sins. What's happening here? What is happening with this team? I mean, I'm hearing so many rumblings. I'm hearing people saying, oh, this is just, you know, cronyism. You know, Rick Brunt, you know, Rick Brunson's dad got brought in, and now we're gonna oh I mean Rick Brunson, Jalen's dad, Rick Brunson got brought in. Now, you know, we're gonna get Jalen and get him paid. Who wants to pay $25 million for a backup point guard? He's a backup. What the fuck is happening here? It's ridiculous. We have IQ. I guarantee you. IQ will be a better point guard next year than Jalen Brunson. Guarantee you. The guy can defend. Jalen Brunson can't even defend. He's maxed out on his abilities and talents. I, I love him as a player. He's a nice player. He's a nice player, but not at 25 million. And we were talking 15 million. It'd be a totally different conversation. Now, we don't know. We don't know if it is for Brunson. We don't know shit. Now... There's some rumblings. Oh, maybe this is for Donovan. Really? You think Donovan's going to want to come to this team now? This team that lacks vision and direction or confusion. It's totally confused team. Totally confused team. And it seems to be a team that's trying to please Tom Thibodeau. Tom Thibodeau, who made mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake all last year and that's why this team underperformed they could have fired him and they didn't now we're stuck with him and now we're trying to build a team for him what is the vision here 
It's ridiculous. Leon, the one thing that you had going for you were your relationships and your reputation in the basketball world as a super agent for CAA, the most powerful agency in the world. And what have you actually gotten us in this time? This, this, nothing, one playoff win. One win in a weird ass year because of a fluke season that Julius Randle had that do we ever believe is ever gonna get back to that? No. Now I'm not blaming you for taking the, you know, to, for signing him to a long-term contract because at the time that's what looked like the right thing to do. And you know, he's still a 2010 guy, just the most inefficient high volume player in the entire NBA. There's no floor spacing on this team. We needed shooting. AJ Griffin was right there. But no. I honestly I would rather you kept uh uh Osmane than do this. There's you're gonna tell me that you there, there was no other way to get rid of Kemba's eight million dollar contract than to do all the shenanigans today. Now I understand that the 2023 draft is going to be a deeper draft. It's going to be a better draft than this year was. But now I have zero faith. Zero faith that you're going to actually do anything with it. Like you guys really care about building through the draft anymore. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. I mean, first of all, you made a trade for Cam. And then your coach just sat him. For weeks doing nothing you know looking around didn't get any minutes then he finally gets some minutes you know shows a couple of flashes you know looks looks interesting i mean his talent is i mean tremendous talent yeah does he make mistakes of course he does it's part of it you got to work your way out of it it's called coaching coach them out of it teach them instead you wasted all that time, and then he got hurt, and now we don't know what the hell we have with him. Obi. What did you do with Obi? Waste him. You wasted his talents. Obi. Obi. Uh, and IQ. You at you started Burks over IQ. And so how do we have any? How can we have any faith that you're going to make the right decisions? for this franchise to become a contending franchise for years moving forward, as opposed to a one-time, you know, luck box situation where we ended up winning 41 games in a weird ass year. And then the, the thing is, the thing, the reason that that 41, those 41 wins have lost even more meaning over the time is what happened in that first round. No adjustments until like two and a half games in. You kept starting Alfred Payton. I literally, I, I, I can go down the line. There, I, I just have no faith in what's happening here with these Knicks. Uh, to the point where, like I said earlier, I'm, 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 I'm near that point of just taking a break from this franchise. That's right. There's just no, I, I just, I, I, I'm not getting a sense of satisfaction at all. A sense of hope. You're wasting my time, wasting all of our time, our money, our hopes. It, tonight, what, what, what was this? What is this bullshit you guys did? Why not, you know, make a trade, move up, get, get Ben, get sharp. Or, you know, stick. Or even Durin. We actually could have had Durin. He was there at 11. Interesting piece. You draft him, and then you reevaluate the situation. But instead, we kick the can for a hope that later on we can do something with those picks in a trade scenario. 
Well, if that's not happening this summer, if by the time this season starts and we're still holding on to those three or those four, or what is it now? We have, how many, we have four or five fucking picks next year. If we still have them, and we've done nothing, and we go into this season with like Brunson and Randall, basically the same team, just with Brunson now. And still IQ coming off the bench, Obi coming off the bench, fighting for minutes. We're, we're just doing the same shit all over again. Meanwhile, the rest of the East got better. Now, adding Brunson will help. I'm not saying it won't help. But... The guy doesn't defend. The guy is tiny. Yeah, he can drive to the hoop and he, and he finishes. It's nice. He's he's really good at that. You know, and we could definitely have used that. But you know who else does that too? Derek Rose. That's right. Who's still on this roster? I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. Now I'm hoping that. This pain and agony that I'm feeling right now gets washed away by some interesting trades and moves that are going to happen in the next two to three weeks. And I'm back here feeling enthusiastic again. I hope that's the deal. But at the moment right now, it just looks like you're wimped out. You wimped out. And you like... <laughs> what did someone, someone tweeted out the... Brock Allard, out Brock Allard himself or something. I think that was Jeremy Cohen or whatever. I can't remember the exact tweet, but. <sighs> Clay Thompson was uh, a late lottery pick. We have nothing. We got nothing. All right. Well, I want to hear what you guys think. I want to hear what you guys think. I'm going to drop another video. It's got a little more analysis to this all right now. This is pure emotion. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. And... Uh, Drop your comments. I want to hear what you guys think about all this. All right. Good night. I'll see you around the next verse.